Let's f***ing roll. All right, everybody. Welcome back to the Bastard Studio. I'm Brad Banyas. Uh, today on Salty's uh, podcast and Salty's live music, we have a, an amazing band that all the way from New Jersey to come down here. Some people call it grunge. Some people call it alternative rock. But one thing for sure, they're amazing. So please welcome Ultraviolet to the show. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much. Guys, just so for the fans out there, they just they played three amazing songs. One that was just just released live or not even out. Yeah, not out yet. Right in the McBastard studio, folks. Right here. You heard it. Exclusive. So Miranda, Cooper, Catherine and Ashley Mm -hmm. make up the band. And um, so, guys, tell us a little bit, you know, why, why the heck do you like grunge rock, alternative rock? I mean, you're amazing. So what's up? Get talking. Well, okay. So we say we're all rock because we all have our music tastes are all over the place. So Ashley likes grunge. Catherine likes almost everything I like, too. (laughs) Cooper likes, what do you like? Uh, 80s hair metal. 80s hair metal. I like new metal, hardcore, almost everything except country. Sorry, guys. (laughs) It's okay. We got enough country (laughs) singers. And yeah, um, so we use all of our music tastes to influence what we write. So I feel like it's a little, we throw in... Different genres, depending on what song it is. So yeah. that's why we cast for ourselves all rock. Try to cover all bases. That's all. Well, I mean, it, you can tell, too. I mean, the sounds the sounds great. So Cooper said so drums, metal. Like, who are some, who's your favorite drummer? <clears throat> Oof, probably a tie between uh, Steven Sweet from Warrant and uh, Rob Afuso from Skid Row. Just because, like, Steven Sweet, he knows how to create a drum beat that not only showcases his skill, but it also kind of highlights everyone else in the band yeah. while he's doing, like, the highest harmonies, too. And then Rava Fuso, he, like, his simple beats just have such, a, like, a groove to it that you don't want to sit down. You, like, need to stand <laughs> yeah. up or tap your foot. Yeah. So that's kind of what I, like, grab from. Um, so, like, uh, like slap, I, I have that iconic, well, iconic for me at least, but um, <laughs> the, 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 the yeah. um, so it's just, it's just something I, like, I look at them and I'm like, what do I think I would play that would make them be impressed yeah so that's that's how i create my well, stuff it sounded, it sounded pretty damn good but i gotta be honest with you I, i'm a drums guy i love drummers I, lo- I love i love that beat i love i love hearing it so you're rocking Thank so you. Catherine, how, how about like what what brought you into music um the bass playing bass Catherine on bass killing it um well my parents were like really into music growing up my dad was a metalhead and my mom worked <laughs> at uh <laughs> You, my mom worked at MTV, like, in the 90s, like, literally, like, did all that stuff. So, growing up, like, I always heard, like, Metallica, Nirvana, yeah. all that stuff. And then when I turned 12, I joined this music academy called Lake House in Asbury Park, the Bruce Springsteen, you know. Yeah. And um, uh, we, uh, my parents basically signed me up for that. And ever since then, I've been playing in bands and playing bass and, you know, just doing it all the time, mostly because... My parents wanted me to do it, but also because, like, I found, like, a love for it. But, you know, a lot of it was from my parents helping me, you know, to actually do it myself. Yeah. You know. Well, you sound amazing. Thank you. You did a good job at it. Ashley's a really big talker. She's very vocal. <laughs> <laughs> so we talking about this. So Ashley, like, why do you – I know you're an athlete, too. So you got a lot of interest. So, you know, what, what was it about just a guitar? And I actually didn't pick up the guitar until – two years ago but I always loved music growing up my dad is the one that got me into yeah. like a bunch of grunge like Pearl Jam Alice in Chains and that yeah. stuff it took me a while to actually like start playing but I love it yeah you good you can tell you're natural at it I mean I couldn't tell you're playing two years what's amazing too is like people don't know so the ages from like 16 to 19 in this band so I mean even like the fact that they haven't really been playing together a long time I mean you guys gelled like awesome and that's, that's really cool to see that because we've interviewed people that have been together, you know, 15 years or 10 years. And, you know, you have that time to kind of really know, you know, what each other's thinking. So when you guys write songs, are, are you all writing it or is, yeah, together? Yeah. yeah For the most part, yeah. Um, I feel like someone will usually come up with an idea and they'll be like, yo, guys, listen to this. Like, I have lyrics or I have like a little drum fill or riff that I came up with. And we'll just bounce ideas off of each other at practice, and we'll go from there. So, yeah, usually some person just brings a little a little idea they <laughs> yeah. have into it, and then we make it, we, it 
usually within a day where we have an idea of something. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that usually means that works and you'll create great things because if you've got too much of a personality in the band, like I grew up, I, I loved like Van Halen. It was like one of my favorite, my first concert when I was 12 years old in the Worcester Centrum, <laughs> just rocking out the Van Halen. But, uh, you know, David Lee Roth and, and the Van Halen brothers and else kind of always bumped heads, even in the magic together. But eventually that, you know, takes you apart. So, so like, well, ideally, what's what's like a year from now? Like, ideally, what 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 would you want to be doing? I mean, some of you are still in high school, so you got to graduate <laughs> high school and go through yeah. the regular stuff. But like, ideally, from musicians, like, what what do you want to do? Like, you want this to be like you want to be famous, I and mean, what do you, what what do you want to do? Well, I think I think the cool thing about our band that makes us a bit unique is like we're not about like the rock star attitude. We kind of just want to create music that can mean something to someone. So like slap or rust with those lyrics, it's not, it's um, if someone were to hear it and be like, Hey, wait, I might be able to relate to this. And then they share it and then other people can, then that's kind of what we want to happen. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're in terms of like timeline, we're hoping to go to the studio soon, um, finish up recording some more stuff and then releasing that. Um, but that's, I mean, yeah, it's really, we just want to be playing yeah. is really yeah. what it is. Yeah. So whatever happens, happens, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We just want to play and travel. Yeah. <laughs> play yeah, and travel. travel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Play and travel. That's good. Yeah. Troy, oh, you're, you're going to probably have to travel. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> we're hoping, we're hoping for tour eventually. Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, that's think, a dream. I think it's cool though. I mean, the reality is you're going to get exposed to here in Atlanta. You know, Atlanta has a pretty good music scene mm -hmm. itself, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, obviously you guys said you've been to Nashville before. Yes. Yeah. Nashville. Um, how about like New York City? You guys ever gone over into the city? Yeah, we yeah. just we played on um, uh, the Bitter End. Um, I think that was a few. What was that? August eleventh, so probably two weeks ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we're actually going to be playing there again um, in November. But yeah, and we do like PA as well. We've done um, this place called the Sherman Showcase, um, which was that was a really fun show because it was just us. So we just did like an hour and a half of mm -hmm. whatever the hell we wanted to, and then. Um, mm -hmm. Trying to think, I think we've done Connecticut as well. Massachusetts. Massachusetts, yeah. We had a run of three dates in June where we did. Um, it was Connecticut, Massachusetts, and then back to Jersey. Back to Jersey yeah. yeah. But, That's uh, awesome. Yeah. Here in Atlanta, I mean, I call out to the Masquerade. Have you guys ever heard of the Masquerade here in Atlanta? Like I, um, I used to be, I used to be underground. Atlanta is where it's at now, but it's got four different um, venues, uh, all in the kind of this kind of alley. And I think uh, like your style of music. So Masquerade, Call Out, you know, Ultraviolet, we need to get them uh, down there. But I think there's a lot of venues here that like, you know, you guys, we have family here now. You're part of the McBassard's family. So yes. part of the Salty family. <laughs> Hell so. yeah. But that's cool. I mean, I, I, I had some time to spend with your parents too. And, you know, it's, it's really, it's awesome how they support you guys. And, you know, they really, they believe in you and you can tell them that's, that's really cool. You know, that's, that's, uh, that's cool. So not sometimes sometimes rock rock stars are uh, not don't have good family lives, but yeah. you guys have people that are really behind you. That's that's amazing. Yeah, I think that's one of our like best assets is we have people that really care and support for us, especially our parents. I mean, they're they're the ones driving us every day. Yeah. My dad drove me and the entire family fourteen hours here. He didn't even stop. We just went straight through. <laughs> but yeah, it's awesome, and I'm really thankful for it. And I yeah. imagine everyone else is too. Yeah. But oh, you, awesome. you can tell you tell your good people too. That's 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 important in life, you know. So a lot a lot of a lot of people are uh, very talented, but they're assholes. So my dad used to tell me, yeah. "Be anything you want in life, just don't be an asshole." Right? So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. So so what's it what's it like? Um, you know, because you 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 guys are still kind of in that that uh, schooling side. What's it like trying to balance? I'm going to ask you this: uh, being an athlete and a musician and a student, because I mean, you know, that's that's a that's that's a lot, right? Yeah, especially because my sports are about uh, start up again. It's going to be tough. We're trying to do shows like on the weekends, but especially for me and Coop because we're both in school, it's a yeah. lot. Especially because yeah. it's our junior year too. Yeah, yeah, junior year. That's awesome. Good for you guys. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Though. That's amazing though that you guys are. I mean, really. I mean, you're talented. And that's awesome to be able to have that many skill sets. So, you're the oldest at 19, right? I feel like an old woman. At 19, you're yeah. the oldest at 19. Yeah, and it's crazy because sometimes I I realize how old they are when they're playing. And, you know, we're at practice, and Ashley's 15, Cooper's 16, and I'm like, there's no way. Yeah. They're so talented. I'm like, huh? Like, yeah. if it just, it blows my mind. 
Yeah, it's you, insane. You guys have some good things definitely on the, on the horizon. Definitely. And so, Catherine, you're kind of you're kind of new, right? You're the new, you're the newbie in the band, right? The, <laughs> yep. the new one. So, what's it like coming into an existing band like that? You know, they you guys have obviously played together for a couple of years, right, or a year or so, right? Yeah. Um, so, what's that like? I mean, but it's it's like a little weird because you feel like you know you feel like a little out of place in the beginning. But these guys are so nice, and they've been so nice to me the entire time, and so patient. So, like. It was really easy and a breeze. Like it felt like with like by the second practice, I felt like they were my friends. So, yeah, you know, it was fun. That's, that's <laughs> awesome. That's well, yeah, you wouldn't know. Like you wouldn't know. Like you guys don't. Like y'all haven't been around each other for a long time. You yeah. know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Miranda uh, was uh, like, she's part of the reason why I'm in the band. She reached out to me. She, uh, she was a fan <laughs> of my other other band. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Yeah, it's it's a, well a lot of people specifically I'd say drummer too like people like you know, pull you in to do other gigs right yeah, so that, that's always been in, interesting. I'm there's a there's a kid I, I can't I'm gonna call him out I don't know his I don't know his I don't know his full name you guys might know him he's from Jersey I may have when we were just kind of doing research on it but um his name was Dallas you all know like, he's like 14 um, you know him? guitar. No, guitar. Yeah, I'm sorry, guitar. Uh, Dallas Russo? Yeah, Dallas, dude. Yeah. Thanks for following us. Yeah, he was jamming. What band is Yeah, I'm good. I'm not sure about any. So, I, just, yeah. I just saw him jamming on the guitar, and I was like, wow. This yeah, guy's I've, been, like- I've been friends with him for about a year now because we were in a band together. Um, I ended up leaving the band just for different, like, directional-wise. But, um, but yeah, he's a great guy. Yeah, I mean, so I was give him, a, give him a shout out. He's yeah. 14 years old. Dallas, this is for you. Yeah, he's 14. <laughs> well, you're 15. Holy shit. Wait, I'm like, wow, these. I mean, I couldn't even, I couldn't even, I don't know, I could probably chew on a guitar. That's about it. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying, Ashley? Not, not very musical. Not very musical. <laughs> so, so people, like, what is it like your, your fan base now? Like, you, you guys um, know kind of, is it, is it mostly kind of your generation or, cause I, like, I, I, I kind of got drawn to it, but like, I grew up, we grew up in rock and roll, like, you know, rock and roll, like, we, we led Zepp on the doors. You know, ACDC, Guns N' Roses, those those kind of bands. And then we were punk kids, too. So, you know, Sex Pistols, Dead Kennedys, Love the Ramones. Yes. And so we were exposed in a really cool time. I thought it was a really cool time for music. And, like, when I first heard you, like, that kind of felt, felt like brought back and felt that. So what's your fan base look like now? Would you say they're your generation really or all over? Yeah. I'd say it's a mix. It's, yeah, it's, a, it's a mix of... But yeah, like we have, like, um, cause we have, like, well, I actually, I'm not gonna say that because that's kind of rude, but like the, the older, the older oh, generation. Go ahead, say it. Just, the old people, ahead, but I'm not. Stab, just stab me. Cut, cut, um, guy like you. No, guy but, like you, Brad. Um, we got the old guys. People older than us, because yeah. um, we have like a lot of friends and family that bring their friends in, and then yeah. they end up showing it to their friends. And then, like, I have a friend in, um, uh, I want to say it's either North or South Carolina, one of the Carolinas. Yeah. His name's Mark. He bought a shirt. Um, he's been supporting us. He wore it to one of the uh, concerts he went to recently, which is awesome. And then we have people our age, like, um, we played a show at this place called Ding Bats, which is like our home venue. They love us there. We love them. Yeah. Um, this kid named Lewis, who I'm also going to shout out because he's awesome. Um, he came and was like, yeah, I saw one of your guys' podcasts and I just wanted to come and check it out. And I was like, holy shit, this yeah, is, this was, is, this yeah. is going somewhere. But it was awesome. It's awesome getting to see like the different ages that can, you know, relate yeah. to our song. And, well, not even just relate, but just want to listen to the songs and Absolutely. keep playing them. Well, music's kind of a unifier, really. It doesn't really matter if you're old or not. Like, my, my son, Michael's old school. Like, he's, you know, he's not, like, pop and all that stuff. He's old school. I think a big stuff. part of it is, like, if you have a, like, g- Generation X parent, like, you're just, you're going to have good music taste, yeah. you oh, know? Yeah. That's, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, that's the one thing, you know, like, people like to crap on Gen Z all the time, but we were raised by Gen X. Like, yeah. We got, we got yeah. cool stuff. You know? Yeah, I mean, well, we, like, that was a great time. And you, like, it was yeah. just, a, I mean, I, you know, I saw ACDC. I saw, you know, Bob Seger, um, Aerosmith, um, obviously Van Halen. Like, just bands like, icon, you know, the Stones. I mean, this iconic, like, that was our genre, right? I mean, we were, mm-hmm. we were there. That was it. So, regardless of what we were singing, we were in the, uh, in the, in the, uh, stadium as well i got to see prince too that i loved prince but his show was kind of off the wall mm-hmm. but I, I loved his music too so yeah. so i mean people like that so there's old old gen x's yeah <laughs> old, gen x's. old gen x's we know what we're talking about so if we say something you hear me ashley you hear me saying? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> well, I know like Ashley has a lot of friends from school that support her. Like she has, I don't know how many how many of your friends do you think come to the shows oh, often. That depends. Well, they don't. Well, they like us, but the, we're not really their style. They're like they all listen like pop or like rap, but mm-hmm. they come to support us. Yeah, that's cool. I'm not a big pop fan. I just, I'm, just, I'm not. You know, sorry, Swifties. Chaperone is not really playing good. y'all. Ooh, don't chaperone. get me started about Chaperone. Love her. <laughs> love you her. should listen to her. She's like Kate Bush, but modern almost. I don't yeah. know how to explain it. It's cool. Yeah, you guys, if you, you like that, you would. Um, we had kind of. I would say she was um, uh, more soulish kind of. But her name's Kells. She's a local musician. She's got an amazing voice. Like, she was on the show. She, she's amazing. Um, but yeah, so any kind of music's good. We've had blues music on funk. You know, Ooh. and so it's cool to sit in here and listen to you guys. Like it's like that's the best part is to kind of just hear your feel, feel that's your so jam, cool. feel your jam. Yeah, because you get to see like you get to like listen to so many different genres of music. That's so mm-hmm. awesome. Yeah, Has, I, like any point like EDM ever come in here? Like yeah. <laughs> I don't know that like the building might shake down. <laughs> I did. I did. We went surfing last year in Panama. My, my partner, my business partner, and I went surfing in Panama. I've never been surfing, but they had a big EDM like concert, like right next the whole where we were staying the whole time, and like it starts at like eleven at night, and and, and it just and, goes to and, and an old guy like me, I'm like you know, this is cool. <laughs> if this would like stopped at one. It's seven in the morning or something. So I was like, after that, I'm like, I'm not a big EDM guy. Yeah, you're like, I yeah. like my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I need Gen something. Xers don't like all that. <laughs> yeah, you know? but uh. So what what else would you want to tell people um, about you guys? Or you know, we were talking about. Um, I know you're young, and I I don't know what I want to do, and I'm 55, so I have no idea what the hell I want to be when I grow up. So I always tell people, or just keep like you know, like what your aspirations are. What do you want to do? Like you know, do, do you want this to be your like what you do? Yeah, definitely. It's, it's, yeah, because not only this, but like if I decide college, I've been looking at like Berkeley. And Belmont University yeah. in Nashville. Oh, it's great. So I'm, I'm hoping to stay in the music industry as long as I can. Yeah. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel the same. I, uh, I'm actually, well, I'm not in school right now, but uh, I, I chose not to go to college. Might do trade school. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I definitely, music is what I want to do. It's been, it's been like everything I wanted to do forever. I was really into like a lot of bands growing up, like really, really into bands, like to the point where I would just, sit and watch lives like all the time and like watch documentaries if I could find them um right. I just I love bands I love music and like it's I want to travel too so like that's part of the job and also like there's a lot of like you could put so much create creative in- input into absolutely like, music like it, it doesn't even have to be from the music it can be from like the art or whatever the merch like there's so much yeah, there's you can do with it so and, much and like it's <clears throat> it's just it's really fun you know it's not just the music it's like everything around it makes it so cool it makes it like it's just it would be like the best to just make it my whole life yeah. as yeah, much as that, i can that, that's and there's so much even around it like we're gonna have uh call brett whitley nothing shaking.co uh, Brett grew up, he's still a pretty young guy, but going to, uh, you know, dead concerts and whatever and selling T-shirts and designing T-shirts. And so he he designs our Goat Full Dead stuff. That's awesome. And, uh, you know, he's not a musician, but he just spent his whole life around that. And now he, he, he's got a, you know, really good life doing that, you know, building that stuff for fish and some other type people. So it's cool. Well, yeah. There's so many avenues like you can do if you if you love music, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Yeah, and to add on to what uh, Catherine said, um, me being a high school dropout, fun fact, um, and never wanting, never knowing what I wanted to do, like, as a kid growing up, I mean, because in high school, they push it on you your, what, sophomore year. They're like, where do you want to go to school? What do you want to do in yeah. life? And you're like, bro, I'm literally 15. <laughs> yeah. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah. So that's how I felt. Um, but every time, you know, my parents or someone would ask me when I was younger, what do you want to do? Oh, I don't want be a singer i want to be a musician and now that i'm actually doing this it's really awesome and i would love to continue doing this because this i mean this has always been my dream yeah well you're you're good and you're good enough and i mean i think that you got to believe in you're good enough and you gotta you know you you gotta dedicate to it nothing's easy i mean it doesn't matter if you go and you're gonna be a lawyer or mm-hmm. be an entrepreneur or a business person i mean you still have to go through the fire definitely right and yeah. so i think what people perceive and they want it to be true is, oh, well, you're just going to go do this, this, and this, and you're going to go to college and you're going to do this and you're going to find a great job. Mm-hmm. And you're gonna... In reality, but life doesn't work that way. So if you have 
an idea of what you'd be. I, on the last show, the guy said, um, he said his father gave him some advice and he said, do what you love and then work your ass off to make money doing that. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was really good advice because that's not like, oh, yeah, you're going to be this and you got to do that. It's yeah. like, do what you love, but work your ass off yeah. so it can pay you and you can make a living. So, uh, okay. you know, I, I think, um, you know, school's important sometimes, but education never stops. Yeah. If you can't like you, you don't. I'm, I'm. Don't ask me to fix your car. Actually, I don't know how to fix your car. Don't ask me to put any. I, I don't know any of that stuff. But it, it, it doesn't matter, you know. So I would say if you can, I can make it. You can make it. Yeah. McBastard yeah, Studio, that's, right that's here, man. Spilling spiel the wisdom at the McBastard Studio. Woo, woo. Yeah, we're always woo. we're grateful for like every opportunity to get like this. Yeah. When we had the like option to come down here and yeah. play, we were like, yeah, we want to do that. Or whether it be playing for like two hundred people. Or one person, we just want to keep playing. That's, I guess, what we all hope yeah. Yeah. We happens in the future. Well, let's call out. So you're going to be in Gainesville tomorrow night, right, on Friday. So uh, all the local Atlanta people, live music junkies, Gina, get out there. Bring your fans. Um, so where are you guys playing tomorrow night in Gainesville? We are playing at the Black Strap. Black in Strap tomorrow. in Gainesville. Yes, yep. and you know, we go on at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Be there. You'll hear them yeah. live. I mean, guys, I can't tell you. It's it's really. I mean, I, I'm not just saying it's. I, I'm I'm really honored, you guys. I mean, they they drove from freaking New Jersey. <laughs> I mean, so that's a long way, and um, you know they've got other stuff going on in their life. And I, I thought you guys were amazing. Thank I mean, you I, so much. I, I what's your this your feedback for like other bands? Like, what did what did you did you like the vibe of this, the feel of it? Like, how, how did you feel about yeah. like you feel uncomfortable? It's really easy, and everyone here is really nice to you, mm -hmm. so you should reach out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, I, and it's it's good exposure. Yeah. You know, you're helping us a lot, so yeah, you're helping the whole community. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's good. it's really important. There's like I don't know. It's sad because like. I don't know. Some places are just like kind of going down with venues and stuff, mm -hmm. and like venues are just really important. But like also with like new platforms like podcasts yeah. mm -hmm. and stuff like that, those are also really important. But like, yeah, it really helps. We should do a check in with you guys or something, you know, and you know, do a live check in because we've set up now where we have the studio thing where we can do live. So like, we should do a live where you're at somewhere and just beam you in. Yeah, that would oh, be fun. Awesome. So cool. Yeah, that'd be fun because it's cool because I mean, like I said. I, all over the country, you know, there's talented people doing cool things. And, you yeah. know, I mean, it's with technology, you know, you can expose that and show it out. And anyway, so we'll do a check in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah that'd be Look at Coop and our hockey tee. I love it. <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, this New is hockey tee. Yeah. Yeah, I, I used to play hockey. Um, I quit freshman year, uh, the year after freshman year, just because, like, I wanted to pursue this full time because I'm in four bands now. So, you know, it's a bit of a time commitment, but. I mean, I go to the games, and this is going to be on the Devils game this year. When the Devils hey, are winning the Stanley Cup, if gets arrested, it's not our fault. If he gets arrested, it's not our fault. Don't don't blame us. Yeah, when the Devils are uh, winning the Stanley Cup this year, this is what I'll be wearing. Ah, uh, we heard it. He's calling it. He called it right here. Well, guys, I, I, I mean, you want to say anything to your fans before we close out? Because, I mean, this is about you. Uh, you guys are amazing, and uh, I'm really proud of you. You, you. you sound great. I mean, you sound you, say, you don't sound like you, you haven't you know, been doing it for 15, 20 years, and that, that's amazing. So thank you. I, thank I you. appreciate that you guys came on. We, we're very blessed to have you in the McBastard Studios. So anything you want to say to your fans out there before we close out? Yeah, I guess um, if you guys want to find us, uh, you can find us on our Instagram and TikTok, which are at ultraviolet underscore NJ. And then our Facebook, um, for those of you who use that, is uh, just ultraviolet space NJ. Yeah, Sorry, I, I shouldn't have said that. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> Gen Xers. Um, I mean, my dad loves Facebook. He's on Instagram, but he uses Gen Facebook Xer. all the time. But um, uh, yeah, that's just ultraviolet space, capital N, capital J. Um, yeah, so we post all our, uh, we, we do sub covers sometime. We're recording some of those. We do um, all our live performances we have. Um, uh, Ashley's dad, Mike, is an amazing guy. He has been helping us with like the business side, but he creates all the vlogs for us. So anything you see on there, that's like a vlog of a show. That's all him. And we're really thankful that he's able to do that for us. Um, but yeah, all the live stuff, our shows, our songs, but yeah, you can find anything on there. Awesome. Anything else? No? 
What are you guys saying? Thank you for having me. He's about to yeah. He's staring at the door. Yeah. He wants to shout out. That's right. That's right. <laughs> thank you again for having us. Yeah, yeah no, no, no really worries, cool guys. You're, you're, you're amazing. Hey, support local music no matter where you're at. New Jersey, California, Atlanta, Nashville, Chicago, whatever it is. It's bands like this, young bands like this, are the future of music, and uh, th these guys are on their way. So we were very excited to have Ultraviolet on the uh, Salty's Live Music Edition today. So uh, go Nation, get in, tune in, follow them. Until next week, let's go! Let's go.